Uh, All right, good afternoon, everyone. The, the Subcommittee on Cybersecurity, Information Technology, and Government Innovation will come to order. Uh, welcome and good afternoon to everyone who's here on both sides of the aisle. Without objection, the chair may declare a recess at any time. I recognize myself for the purpose of making an opening statement, if I may. Thank you all for being here today, the time and the effort and commitment uh, to this congressional hearing on artificial intelligence. As chair of this committee, I recognize myself for five minutes to provide an opening statement on this very important topic, which many of us here today are extremely passionate about. The field of artificial intelligence is rapidly evolving, and one of the most exciting developments in recent years has been the emergence of generative models. These models have shown the ability to produce human-like language and even generate images, videos, and music. While the potential applications of generative models are vast and impressive, there are also serious concerns about the ethical implications of their use. As we explore the potential of AI and generative models, it's essential that we consider the impact they may have on society. We must work together to ensure that AI is developed and used in a way that is ethical, transparent, and beneficial to all of society. This will require collaboration between government, industry, and academia to ensure that the AI we develop is reliable, trustworthy, and aligned with public policy goals. Moreover, we must consider the operational and legal responsibilities of companies that use these models. AI can help us make better decisions, but we, also, we must also ensure that those decisions are ethical, unbiased, and transparent. To achieve this, we need to establish guidelines for AI development and use. We need to establish a clear legal framework to hold companies accountable for the consequences of their AI systems. The federal government has an important role to play in the development and deployment of AI. As the largest employer of the, in the United States, the government can use AI to improve operations and provide better services to the public. AI can help reduce costs, improve efficiency, and enhance the accuracy of decision making, for example. AI can be used to analyze vast amounts of data to identify patterns and make predictions which can help government agencies make more informed decisions. As we move forward, we must also ensure that AI is used for the benefit of society as a whole. While AI has the potential to improve efficiency, increase productivity, and enhance the quality of life, it can also be used to automate jobs, invade privacy, and perpetu per perpetuate inequality. We must also work together to ensure that AI is used in a way that benefits everyone, not just a privileged few. In conclusion, the emergence of generative models represents a significant step forward in the development of artificial intelligence. However, with the progress comes responsibility. We must ensure that AI is developed and used in a way that's ethical, transparent, and beneficial to society. And the federal government has an important role in this effort. I look forward to working with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle. Um, on this committee to ensure that the U.S. remains a leader in the development of AI technologies. Thank you for your time and attention. Now, before I yield back, I'd like to note that everything I just said in my opening statement was, you guessed it, written by chat GPT and AI. Uh, the advances that have ma been made just in the last few weeks and months uh, have been radical, they've been amazing, and show the technology uh, is rapidly evolving. Every single word up until this sentence was uh, generated entirely by ChatGPT. And perhaps for the first time in committee hearing, I know Jake Auchincloss did a, uh, a statement on the floor a couple weeks ago, but I believe this is the first opening statement of a hearing generated by ChatGPT or other uh, AI models. Um, I now yield to the distinguished ranking member, Mr. Connolly, for your opening statement. 